I ran into this deposit in Zambia not so long ago, and I'm actually quite fascinated by the material. Now, if you think of the Elwena citrines, you'll, you'll find that the formation of the quartzes is very similar. So they have a long, long, thick crystallization, which have been compacted together. Uh, uh, long crystals, long thin crystals. But what's most fascinating about the, these pieces is when you look from the top down, you actually see it's almost the heart of amethyst sitting inside the crystals with this milkiness associated. Also, what we have on uh, when we look at the side of the crystals, we have almost a candle quartz effect where you have a multitude of tiny crystals going up onto the main crystal all pointing in the same direction as the main crystal face. From a display point of view, this is a little bit larger than a hand size, so a rather heavy piece. Thing is, one can't trim these down because uh, the whole the whole crystallization will, will collapse on top. These are absolutely natural, so unlike the, the synthetic material available of light, mainly from China, where the guys stick the, the quartz crystals together, forming clusters. This is an absolutely natural cluster. Of course, from the Sulwesi region or, or Sulwesi and surrounds in the in, in Zambia, I think that at a stage we, we also found some aquamarines, etc. from there. I'm trying to get hold of some, but in the meantime, I'm sitting with the, the amethysts from that deposit. Quite lovely, hand-sized piece.